but these are chunky um glitter you want let me yeah. open that out and these yeah. are the large the this one mm -hmm. this is the large butterfly um glitters mm -hmm. um we have a lot of different sets and i really like these i'm like obsessed with the little capsules is it capsules little containers uh -huh. they're just so cute and the way they um basically they come in a set of 12 um this one here i show you this, it, each one of them come with a set of 12 and i just love the clear box mm -hmm. because i feel it's really easy just to pick and choose exactly which glitters you want and it's super easy you just to put the thing uh put the cap right back on you put it pop it back into the box and it's organized and it's clear so you can always see exactly which glitters you're going to use i'm like obsessed <laughs> <laughs> so and i'm also incorporated with kind of like um like micro glitter this is the Actually, it's like a UV um, micro glitter. It's actually changing color slightly when you uh, out in the sun. But I, because I always like to incorporate different like different sizes of glitter together to give that depth in uh, on the nail. So yeah, so let's get started. So be uh, I need the, <laughs> the shop dapping dish. This is actually not mine. Uh, this uh, the dapper the Lisa uh, this. Uh, it's actually a gift from Hannah. It's, she's she's one of my students, and she gave it to me when she came to the uh, she came here at the studio for a private lesson. Um, I know Hannah. You ha you have. To, I feel like everybody asking for it. <laughs> Thank you, Em, again. Anyway, so I'm gonna start. So I'm gonna do this nail just so then you can see. I'm gonna do the like a side French. I'm just incorporate the green. And I just feel like it's kind of fun look with just the side with a little glitter to pop, you know. Not much, but it just kind of give a little depth on the side as well. So bây giờ em sẽ bắt đầu ha. Em sẽ lấy một cục uh, bột ha. So about like medium size. And I'm just going to pick right there. And I'm going to start. Hi, Leah. Hi, Em. How are you? Thank you for tuning in. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to try to blend it down. Okay, bây giờ em lấy một cục bột ha, bây giờ em lấy khoảng chừng medium size. Bây giờ em sẽ try to blend it down. Okay? And then again, you always want to taper the product, everything in the center, and that's how you keep the shape. You know, like uh, shaping the nails is always always start with sculpting with the brush first, so take the time to really kind of like blending that bead into the shape that you want. It's always save a lot of time and it just make your work look neat and clean. So yeah, so right there, I'm gonna take a nervous side, smaller, and start right there. Okay, I'm not gonna go all the way high because I'm just gonna do it slowly so then I can blend it in. And see, nếu mà các bạn coi có thắc mắc gì cho em biết ha, thì bây giờ em chỉ dùng cái màu green này thôi là em blend hai cái uh, blend cái bột nó xuống cho nó thành cái shape mà em muốn ha. So, uh -huh. so bây giờ em sẽ cố gắng làm cái um, cái bên hông này lúc nào cái chỗ yếu always reinforce that side a little bit. So now looks pretty good. I'm just gonna leave it like that, and then you want to use to cut the the acrylic. I'm just gonna dip my the exacto knife into the. Let me see. Okay, so then I'm just gonna cut that slightly straight down. So mình cắt để cho nó thẳng luôn ha. Just wet your knife with the monomer. So then you can cut that, okay? That way you have room for glitter. So that's it. It doesn't have to be clean up because uh, with this look, I'm just gonna add glitter. So try to do, if you accidentally didn't get it too clean, you can always wait it to a little bit and refine that with the file. Nếu mà các bạn lỡ cắt mà nó không được thẳng á, thì các bạn đợi nó khô chút xíu thì nó sẽ uh, lấy cái đầu dũa dũa lại chút xíu thì nó sẽ thẳng 
thôi ha nhưng mà với cái clear này thì anh nghĩ nó cũng không nên nổi lắm thường thường mình làm bột á thì mình muốn cho nó phải really like crisp uh, line cho nó thẳng thật là thẳng nhưng mà nếu mà bỏ clear rồi thì em nghĩ mình có thể à, anh gian được chút xíu thì bây giờ trước khi em làm á, thì em sẽ bỏ tí bột ha vô trong đây ha just a little bit of glitter just to kind of have the surface like slightly wet okay and then I'm gonna pick up a little bit of glitter em sẽ lấy một tí glitter ha em bỏ lên trên đây cái chỗ này dưới này nó nó dậy nó nó bự thì em bỏ mấy cái glitter nó nó dày ha em sẽ cố, cố gắng lấy cái cái glitter nó dày lên chút xíu đó mình push nó lên cho cái line nó thẳng ha còn cái chỗ nào mà nó nó mỏng á, thì em sẽ dùng cái glitter này cái 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 fine glitter cho nó lên đây so giống như mình incorporate different glitter cho nó, nó dữ tại cái chỗ này nó nhỏ quá nó không có vừa the big glitter so bây giờ mình dùng cái uh, giống như cái uh, micro glitter cho nó nhỏ thật là nhỏ thôi so basically um, for the small area you want to use a smaller glitter just so then it fits otherwise later you shape everything it's gonna be gone and you don't want that so I, I just want a little bit of um, small glitter right here I'm gonna add that in yeah and cứ làm mình cứ làm giống như mình làm thấy làm sao mà cho cái glitter nó nó fit vô thì thì thôi ha chứ tự, mình đừng có muốn cho nó hở quá tại mình hở nhiều quá tí nữa mình dũa nó sẽ bay đi hết so I'm just adding đó mình cứ làm small detail vậy mà nó đẹp xong rồi mình muốn cho nó đẹp chút xíu nữa anh sẽ lấy chút xíu glitter nhỏ nhỏ này cho nó vô mấy cái góc nhỏ nhỏ mình thấy không để nó có detail ha so I'm basically taking a small just like micro glitter and just fill in the gap so then when you turn the nail it looks really good right yeah I like that I feel like it reminds me like very like retro 70s I don't know if that's mm -hmm. like the right words but mm -hmm. I feel like 70s feel you know mm -hmm. so you can like it so far see and you look on the side view see you have enough product I usually before I cap the the clear I always make sure because you know when you cut the product uh, when you do the cut out uh, style you have to work quickly so sometime if your cuticle is not perfect or the size not perfect make sure you always go back and fill that up a little bit with just very small glitter I mean small bead so then it filled up before you put the clear okay tại lúc mà mình cắt đó, thì mình 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 phải làm cho nhanh gì thì lỡ mà mình có đắp mà nó không có đủ bên hông này á thì bây giờ mình có thể lấy cái cơ hội này mình đi lấy cái cục nhỏ thôi mình đi cho nó thêm chút xíu ha đó bây giờ em thấy nó đều rồi bây giờ em sẽ bây giờ cái nhìn cái size view á thì nó cũng ok mà nó cũng chưa có đủ dày đúng không các bạn bây giờ em sẽ lấy một cái clear ha clear powder em sẽ bỏ nó lên Okay. I just want to say hi Anna on YouTube, on the YouTube side. She's joining in on YouTube. So if you guys ever want to join in on our YouTube, not on Facebook, it is available as well. So hi, Anna. She uh -huh. said, looks amazing. I love it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I find that this, this I love bright color during summer. So this is a good chance for you to just pull out some, you know, uh, bright color and just kind of incorporate with glitter glitter sequence now we have so many options with butterfly we have a lot of brand name glitter sequence on the website as well so then you guys um, um, can take the time to do it not now but after <laughs> right Gong? yeah delisa said groovy is the is the word yes, yes groovy. groovy yeah okay. i feel like i'm maybe stuck in the 60 nails is that why it is i feel like lately because on tuesday tuesday Mommy yeah. làm cái màu đó cũng giống như yeah. kind of like the 60, right? Đúng yeah, không? kind of. <laughs> it's just this sequence, it comes, it's not just multicolored, it's also varying in sizes. And so I think that's why. It's like the overlay of each each circle, each glitter. Um, it kind of creates that look. So mm -hmm. groovy, that, that's that's the better word for it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty neat. So now, basically, I'm just encapsulating uh, with clear. As you can see, it looks really thin and it doesn't really bulky at all. I'm just gonna put a little bit right here, just the apex area. 
just so then hold on I'm just gonna put a little bit right I always I like my nail to be um, raised a little bit at the apex because this nail is such a long nail um, you want to build that so Hannah nếu mà em coi chị build cái chỗ này nè dày nè ha so make sure you take care of the lower third and just lấy cái cục nhỏ bỏ ngay trên giữa này ha right at the center of the nail and easily you can build the apex right there that's another tip for me because sometimes if you, I feel like if you place it right there so easy because it's right at the center already or you do wet your brush and just slightly blend it down then the apex is right at the center for you then it's just perfect so now look at the profile it looks pretty good I'm gonna stop there see it doesn't take a, too much time um, I saw a little bit just right here because I feel like just in case the glitter right there other than that I'm good okay so let's do on this one oh um, I have this new glitter I mean where's the uh, the, butterfly? the butterfly yeah so um, this one I incorporating um, different butterfly here so uh, I'm actually you guys wanted me to do the ombre or marble which one I could do marble on this one because I did kind of little ombre, I mean, kind of marbling with white and yellow. But I'm thinking we should do maybe. <laughs> okay. Hi, Valerie. Wow. Thank you for tuning in. How are you? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's do something different. Let's do a little bit of um, uh, ombre. Leah okay. said marble. Oh, okay, okay, I can do marble. Okay, let's do that then. <laughs> That's good, just in time. Thank you, Leah. Okay, so marble, dễ lắm em. Chị lấy cái này ha. Yellow and a soft white. There's a lot of ways to do it, but I find this way is pretty neat. Mình cứ làm dễ thôi ha. So mình lấy cái đó. Okay, chạy nó lên. Switch nó xuống. And just kind of lấy cái, cái đầu brush mà mình đừng có làm nó kéo nó nhiều quá Tại mình kéo nó nhiều quá là mình sẽ mất cái uh, not too much bulk, uh, marbling But mình nhèm nó nhẹ nhẹ thôi So bây giờ em tap nó ra cho nó nhẹ nhẹ thôi nha Because if you, mình làm nó xoay nó nhiều quá nó sẽ mush in together Then nó, nó ra giống như, um, like giống, như, giống như smoothie vậy đó Mình không muốn vậy So mình just làm nó nhẹ nhẹ thôi See, easy Mà mình làm cục nhỏ nhỏ thôi uh, use it, uh, lấy cái bột nó hơi ứ ứ chút xíu nha các bạn When mình làm marbling, uh, the key here is try to keep it slightly a um, little bit more wet consistency so then it's easier for you to marble But see, mình làm như thế nó dễ không? Right? Very easy um, uh, I know Hannah said ombre Okay, next time nha, chị sẽ làm ombre nha em so bây giờ thôi làm lỡ làm marble thì cũng làm luôn đi ha. So bây giờ em sẽ lấy một chút xíu white here, ha. And sẽ lấy cái uh, yellow. This is the easy way to really marbling the nails, you guys. So like that, and just kind of tool it. Use your brush, just kind of the edge of the brush. And now I'm just using that. See, very easy, and just blend that in. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Right? Easy, right? I like this one. Yeah. I'm obsessed with yellow on my nails. <laughs> I, feel like it looks, it, I feel like yellow looks good on everybody's nails. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, like that, see? Now you get a little marbling, but it's not too much because it depends on what kind of marbling you achieve, you're trying to achieve. Like, if you want a lot of vein, then of course, do more movement. But if you don't, you want it more subtle. Then just do what I did. It's just kind of really easy. Uh, just in case you missed it, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna take a little bit of the yellow. Just kind of like marble it. See, just kind of move the white and the yellow around a little bit. And just use the tip of the brush and just move to the area that you want. And then make a chỗ mà mình thiếu á, don't worry about it. Mình có thể go back and do it. But nếu mà các bạn thấy đó, you know what? Mấy cái góc này thường thường em nó không even try too hard. I just take a little bit of the yellow 
and just kind of like kind of like just kind of push it in the corner because we'll just blend in and then make it be white huh it will all work out at the end trust me you can never go wrong with marble nails you see vì khi mấy cái góc đó mình không có cần nó không cần thiết mình chỉ muốn cho nó đầy cho nó cái, cái, cái make sure nó fit in cái 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 uh, cuticle contour cái cuticle của mình thôi you see look looks pretty good right so bây giờ em muốn incorporate mấy cái uh, um, mấy cái butterfly này thì bây giờ em sẽ làm ha yeah so the butterfly sequence um, are on sale again because we everyone loves them so we want to make sure that everyone gets their own set um they're on sale again if you go to www.thenailtipshop.com so if you ever need any help um to taking any orders you can call our um our phone and it's 909-342-0078 so again all um the, the glitters that we saw earlier as well as the butterfly glitters they're um they're on the website right now so you guys can go ahead and get them if you need them yeah so giống i know as you can see it not còn hơi bumpy but don't worry about it okay mình làm nail á mình the whole point mình just muốn marbling thôi tại cái này em còn muốn có dimension with glitter and uh, butterfly sequence này nọ thì bây giờ mình sẽ bỏ chút xíu clear rất là mỏng Okay, rất là mỏng, really thin guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of the butterfly here. Ha, cho nó đẹp vậy thôi ha. Ngay cái chính giữa, so that way lúc mình shape nó không có mất cái cái butterfly của mình ha. Đó, very quick and easy. Mình làm vậy nó không có dày cái móng của mình ha. Right there, see? Right there. So I'm để nó xuống chút xíu cho cái 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 butterfly nó nó nằm xuống. Em các bạn coi chứ em thích uh, in lay mấy cái này xuống đó, cho nó đẹp, tại nó thấy đẹp đúng không? Đó. Bây giờ còn muốn đẹp nữa thì em sẽ bỏ chút xíu, a little bit, incorporating a little bit, chút xíu thôi. I add a little detail. Cái này là last minute. Uh -huh. thấy không? Các bạn thấy không? Right there. Okay. I think, okay, so Leah said it's mesmerizing. Thank you. <laughs> I know. And it's then, always fun to watch. I don't know why. It's something about watching other people doing nails. It's so soothing. I know. I, I'm sitting here. I'm like, oh my gosh. It's like, I don't even, I kind of have an idea what you're going to do, but I still, like you already did it earlier. So I just watch you do it again. And I just, I just like it. And then Carrie said, you make it look easy. It's really pretty. Oh, thank you. I think it's easy because, you know, like, um, just incorporate, like, two colors. If you can't do a lot of colors, if you feel, like, too much for you, then just do two, you know. And always, I feel like soft white and, and clear is something that you always have in your, you know, in your stage, in your salon anyway. So just... Soft white and clear is like a must have. And then just incorporate whatever color, you know, you can think of. And I like summer, you always want to go with more like a fun, vibrant color. And that's it. So that's, I'm going to stop right there because I'm going to, um, I'm going to double check. Just make sure I have everything. Um, because when you do marbling, make sure you have everything, uh, especially on the side, little corner, because a lot of time you keep, you just worry about the center of the nail, but you don't uh, take care of the side. So I always go back because if you do just do one bead of everything, it's easy to blend down everything, right? But when you do marbling, because a lot of time you just kind of worry how the, how you do the marbling, you you tend to forget the size. So before I encapsulate, I always make sure um, check everything. So sau đó bây giờ em sẽ làm xong rồi ha. So bây giờ em muốn trước khi mà em muốn cap with clear nhất là các bạn là marble nails á các bạn phải make sure mình check coi những cái góc này nè mình có đủ màu chưa ha nếu mà thiếu chút xíu gì đó mình có thể go back tại lot of time á mình làm làm nail á mình làm marble á mình lo uh, 
kéo lên kéo xuống để cho cái cái màu nó 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 thành marble á thì mình không có để ý cái sai không so bây giờ em chị make sure mình lay đầy đủ thôi em thiếu cái góc nào mình chỉ lấy cái thí dụ hai màu sáu quay với yellow thiếu góc nào thì mình đạm lấy chút xíu thôi màu yellow hay màu sáu quay mình bỏ vô thôi ha bây giờ làm encapsulate thì mình sẽ dùng clear ha so now I'm gonna use clear I'm just gonna start with the middle kind of like uh, two thirds of the nail and I'm just slowly blending that down that way um, mình làm từ từ tại mình có nhiều cái glitter mình muốn đi từ từ xuống make sure the, your, your liquid and powder have a good consistency so it's not bubble so mình làm em sẽ làm từ từ kéo cái bột clear xuống ha đó kéo mà cũng kéo cái uh, hai cái bên uh, bên móng xuống cho nó thon cái ngón lại nha uh, hello các bạn mới tune in cảm ơn các bạn tune in nhé so bây giờ hôm nay em sẽ làm mấy cái kiểu mẫu này uh, hai cái màu này nó rất là đẹp màu da lồ với màu green này em nghĩ nó cũng rất là đẹp cho mùa hè ha so bây giờ em tiếp tục em chị em làm xong hết rồi giờ em chị encapsulate cái uh, cái clear thôi so right now I'm just gonna do a little bit right here just so then the apex is a little thicker the apex is very important nha các bạn các bạn build mấy cái nail á nhớ always take care cái chỗ apex này nhất là cái móng dài á ha để cho nó đẹp ha với lại mình cho cái móng nó giữ chắc mà nó không có dễ gãy nữa nha cái apex nó quan trọng lắm á ok anybody have questions let me know but I love this look already. So far, so good, guy. I don't know. The butterflies are so in. I feel like I, I also ha are in like a lot of Facebook groups about nail art, and I feel like everybody is asking for nail art inspo, or like they just want to know where they can get their butterfly. Um, glitters or you know what colors they should use with butterflies everyone is like raving about the butterfly glitters mm -hmm. it's like super super in mm -hmm. so and làm xong hết rồi ha thì bây giờ em clean cái cọ and another thing I want to advise you to lúc mà mình làm xong á mấy cái cọ này có glitter á thì mình nên chùi nó ra sạch nha để em lấy cái miếng này I always làm nó sạch ha just so then you can keep your brush clean Always clean your brush with a monomer that you have left. And if you have glitter on your brush, make sure you clean as much as you can because the next client that's not doing glitter, you don't want that to have glitter over the next client. So keep it clean, okay? I just use my monomer. I hardly use um, a brush cleaner on my brush. That's how I keep my brush on long time because I use the monomer to clean the brush. And then whatever left over, like I want to clean the dappin dish, I always take this. That way you don't have to have a fresh clean dappin dish each each time. So then that's how that's another way to prevent from lifting is that you don't use the same monomer um, on a next client. You want to use a fresh monomer for each client. Okay, so that's another thing. Yeah. Nếu mà các bạn coi á, thì giống như cái cách hồi em chia, chia sẻ cho các bạn là mình dùng cái nước mình còn dư lại mình dùng mình giữ cái cọ clean ha để cho nó không dính clear rồi vô tại lỡ mà khách khách kế tiếp mà mình có xài á, mình không có um, uh, có clear nhất là những khách nào mà kế tiếp mà không xài clear á, thì mình không có dính mấy cái clear lên yeah. Um, on YouTube, Gina said, is this live now? Yes, we're watching live right now. Hello, Gina. Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, so we said that we, today we were going to talk about new products that we just got. And you guys, we literally just got these. Okay, so I'm going to show you some of them, okay? Um, obviously, some of them are butterflies because it's super in right now. But these are so cute. Okay, so this is my mom's favorite. This is Ann's favorite, okay? I'm going to show it to you guys. This one is... Anyways, I'm going to do that. I can't help this it. This is the gold, like, gold. It's like an outline of a butterfly, so it's just so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it. So make sure... Mm -hmm. Okay, right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like that. So these ones are, they, they're like kind of the outline. So mm -hmm. whatever color that you have on your um, 
design you should be able to kind of see it right mm -hmm. and then we got uh three other ones these are a bit these decals are bigger than the previous one we had which means these come with more i really love this blue one i feel like it's just so cute um, they have one little yellow one right here, and I really like it. <laughs> yeah, she wants to use that. I want to use that one. And this one is pink, and this one also it's is... It's like ti timeless. Yeah. yeah, this one's like timeless. I feel like this one would still be really perfect for the fall. Mm -hmm. So these are new, and we also have... Oh my gosh, you guys, we have so much. Okay, we have... I believe these are the hemp leaves one. Mm -hmm. These are very trendy. Um, so they kind of look like marijuana <laughs> um yeah so we have them in so many different colors blue black we have 12 12 colors i think I yeah believe. and it's gonna be on sale we're gonna have it uh, after this we're gonna post it on a website because we just currently got this this is like a multi-color so it's gonna be 35 for 12 the whole set if you get interested you can leave me your uh, number or i will take your order and save a set for you or you can Give it a couple hours after the live, then we're gonna post it on the website. Now, mấy cái mấy cái đồ mà em mới có nếu mà các bạn thích thì các bạn cho em cái số phone có gì để có gì liên lạc với các bạn để em giữ cho các bạn một bộ mới ha. Mấy cái đó là hàng mới về luôn á. Em chưa kịp bỏ lên website nữa. Nên nhưng mà em thấy nó đẹp quá nên em muốn cho các bạn biết trước. So now I'm just gonna do the size first, like always start with the size, right? So then you can. Set your perimeter and just go from there. Lúc nào mình cũng phải cho nó thẳng ra trước ha. Rồi bây giờ em giữ sơ sơ thôi. Cho nó cái móng này thì nó hơi nó 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 khô cái móng này chưa có khô mấy. Rồi bây giờ em giữ cái móng này trước. So you guys like the the design so far? Isn't it fun? Các bạn thích mấy cái màu này không? Thấy nó đẹp không? Các bạn thích màu gì? Let me. Oh yeah, maybe you could tell me what color you guys like. Want me to do next time. Yes, we'd love to take the suggestions. Mm -hmm. Someone, uh, okay, Jelly Bean Nailed It on YouTube said, have you seen the encapsulated butterfly that looks like it's floating in the nail? If so, how is that done? Maybe that would be a really good one for next time. Um, floating, because I think it's because the clear that you use. Uh, um, when you encapsulate, I always mention this over and over again, is that you want... Um, have a good consistency with liquid and powder so when it's really clear it's not bubbly so then it and then when you encapsulate so then it looks like so clean that the butterfly just kind of floating in the middle of the nail i hope that makes sense but um yeah if you don't have it clear i think because your the way you pick up liquid and powder is not the right ratio so practice that again. I do have that video on YouTube if you want to look that up. I'm sure that will help you a lot. Hi, Tammy. Tepko Tammy, my yoga. Hello, good Tammy. Sharon said, your pro side profile, the apex is always so perfect. Thank you, Sharon. Hi, Sharon, I miss you. Haven't seen you, haven't talked to you for a while. Thank you so much. I, you know, shaping and a structure is like, my thing, I love it, and as I'm sure all of you are too. Shaping the nail is really my favorite thing to do. I can sit here and just, if if I don't have to do live seriously, I can sit here and just shaping. Something about it just really soothing to me. So when I do the nails, I really try to make sure, you know, I shape it well because it just it looks so sexy by just by looking with just the shape by itself. So I really take the time and focus on it and perfect that skill. You know, but I do have a couple of tutorial on YouTube how to scope coffin stiletto really, um, really nice. So if you guys want, you need extra help on that, uh, you guys more than welcome to look at on the YouTube channel, a YouTube channel. Yes, right. you can go check us out on YouTube at The Nail Tip Show. We have all of our um, tutorials on there for different designs, also some of our Facebook Lives. So different demos that we did previously are also on YouTube. So if you guys don't want to miss out on, the, miss out on that, make sure to subscribe to that as well. Mm -hmm. um, on the YouTube side, talking about that, we have uh, Wanda said... Set an emoji. Hello. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's Maisha. She said hi, ladies. We've got Janet. She said hello. Um, Janet, yes. 
She said, I would love to learn how to shape. Yes, we have videos on YouTube. You can go ahead and check that out. And also sometimes we do um, live classes. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on that, uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook because we'll also announce it on there. And then Elizabeth on the YouTube side said, how do you preserve the body as a nail tech? I'm developing carpal tunnel and tendonitis. Oh, okay. Um, I know it's, it's something that we all have to pay attention to when you work. I try to keep my, I know you can't see it, but I try to keep my legs on the floor, both on the floor and my back straight uh, the best way I can. But in between clients, especially you need to stand up and stretch. You know, I, I, you know, what I do is I go to the restroom, take a break, you know, do your thing. I also take like a couple minutes in the restroom and stretch my arms, my shoulder, just kind of like give myself two, one to two minutes, just kind of stretch that in between. Or when I'm waiting for my client, I try to stand up, you know, uh, stretch out your arms and kind of rotate your wrists a little bit in between because you, you know, we all do this with long hours and same repetitive motions and um, uh, techniques. I mean, your hand and the way you shape, everything's re re repeated, right? Repetitive. Repetitive, yeah. Yeah, so you have to stretch in between. You have to do that right away. Don't wait until it's too late. Uh, I have a couple friends that are really hurting right now, so um, I'm more mindful now in the last few years. I've been doing that and it really helps because in a day, I feel like it, it, your muscle is not aching as much. So yeah, try to do that. Hi, Hien, how are you, Em? Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, so I hope that helps, okay? Well, also, um, you also stretch a lot too, mm -hmm. even in the morning before you start your day. So I feel like that might help too, mm -hmm. right? Because you wake up and you, you try to like warm up your body almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, no shocker, I'm using three in one call by bit, and I, I believe I'm using a medium size. Uh, I'm in grit, so I'm just gonna take the take the medium call by bit and go around the cuticle area. I'm going slow so you can see. I know a few of you are struggling with the cuticle area, how to perfect this. If you can need help, let me know. I definitely can um, explain that, but if you don't, I'm just gonna kinda do it quickly so then I don't waste you guys time. Yes, also talking about bits. Last time we had a couple of asked questions. We actually have the, I think the round top bit is on sale on our website right now. Um, if you guys want to purchase that, just head over to our website. And we have the best deals for bits, I feel like. I've never seen the price that we have on our website or somewhere else. So just letting you guys know that you guys don't want to miss out on any of our deals, okay? Yeah. But yeah, cup, a good cup by bit is really important. I love this one because it's universal. It's really great for a lefty or right-handed nail tech, so it's just perfect. And as you can see, it runs really smooth. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. We see whether I'm going slow or fast, the bit runs really smoothly. So yeah, it's really nice, especially it's safe around the cuticle area because the three-in-one bit, the one thing about it is that the, the top of the bit is slightly rounded, so almost like a safety um, um, bit that allows you to go really tight on the cuticle area without cutting your client. And then here, another tip I want to tell you, uh, show you too, is that when you contour the nail, it's best to use the bit and just kind of do the side. You see how it just kind of contour that a little bit? That way you don't have to do a lot of hand shaping. This is really good because the bit really runs smoothly, allow you to do that. And same thing on this side, I just kind of take it and just kind of like round it and contour that shape on the side. So then I don't have to waste a lot of time uh, hand following that side and that both sides, okay? And of course the apex area, you notice I don't hardly go anywhere near it because I don't really need to because when you build the nail, it's pretty much, um, you know, to the, the height that you need, so you don't want to take that down, of course. I'm just kind of leveling, leveling, leveling. <laughs> it's getting late, you guys. <laughs> My, she making fun of me all the time. <laughs> um, okay, so Gina on, on YouTube, she said, 
So if my clear powder doesn't come out clear, does that mean I mess up the powder in the monomer ratio? Um, okay. Oh, I just remember another um, another thing that you might have to attention to. Uh, when you work with color acrylic, um, color acrylics, you might kind of like kind of contaminate the liquid monomer. So if your monomer are really like cloudy already, discard that and get a fresh uh, monomer before you do the clear, because that way you have fresh monomer and the clear will be clear. So try that technique. I think that a lot of people are beginners. They missed out on that, so they keep using the same liquid with the color and clear. Especially when you beginners, you don't know how to handle the brush well, so you put a lot of um, the pigment back to the monomer, so your monomer becomes cloudy and it changes the, the consistency and the clarity of the liquid. So I hope that helps. Yes. Uh, Darkness woman said, good morning. She said, beautiful butterfly. Where, where is she? Um, yes, let us know. I, yeah. ever, we've always so many people tune in from like different countries mm -hmm. and it's just super cool just to see everyone come together and watch, mm -hmm. watch us do nails. Yeah, thank you for tuning in guys. This is fun for us. So I hope you enjoy enjoying all the tutorial. And then of course this is a place for you guys to ask questions, hang out with us, and anything that you guys need to know about nails, uh, I'm more than happy to help you guys, okay? Uh, yeah. Sharon said, I'm so happy to find you live tonight. Thank you for joining. I know, I haven't, uh, have you have, have not have you in our life for quite some time, so Thank you for tuning in. Um, and then Delisa said, the nails are, are elegant and sexy always. Thank uh. you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, another way I want you to pay attention to is when you look in the back and if you notice one side bulkier on, than the other side, that means that side too thick, then you need to go back and refine that. But this is one way for you to check, see if you have the nail um, evenly or not because a lot of time like this side I could tell I still have a little bit on this here so that means I have to go back and perfect that a little bit so just so you know that's how that's another way to check the nail too okay yeah uh, Delisa said carpal tunnel took me out of the nail game 20 years ago back in oh. the day I thought Ifan was cheating I use them now for myself there are physical therapists on YouTube with stretches and posture tips that's good to know oh yeah we, yeah, that's good. I'll, I'll check that. Can you put, give me the link or the name of that? Maybe I can check that out too. Maybe I can learn something and share with a lot of people. Uh, Janet asks on, this is on YouTube side, what is the file you are using? Oh, this one? It's just uh, 150, I think. One side is 180 and another side is 150. And that's it. I love this one. just convenient. So now I'm just going to make sure everything is straight. Yeah, and then always check, make sure it's everything nice and rounded. Okay, and now I'm gonna buff. Yep. Uh, Latasha said, I need help with this sh One minute I have it and the next it's gone. I'm so excited to run across this live. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, that because sometimes we all tend to favor one side more than, more than the other. So try to pay attention. Uh, if you favor one side, then maybe just don't uh, file that side that much. Or sometimes to the way you apply the acrylic. Because again, when you apply the acrylic, sometimes we favor one side more than the other. So pay attention to that. Um, I, I find that I, I used to do that a lot more than now. I just, I think you just have to pay attention to it. If you already, um, when you apply, do it slowly and just kind of keep checking on the shape. So if you find that the shape is good, then stop. Don't over, um, go back and forth on it. I used to do that a lot when I first started. I feel like I never have enough powder. I don't know if you can have that same problem or not, but I used to think like that. But as you learn where the properly the structure of nail where it should be I think that will help a lot more when you when it comes to application so then you don't you know when to stop okay Janet asks this is this is kind of a loaded question okay mm -hmm. she said can you do a zoom class yes but what area that you want me to um, uh, what area that uh, you want me to help you with 
if you have some idea or any um, suggestion, let me know because I am sort of putting some classes together. So let me know. I really can would love to do that with you guys because I feel like beginner of the pandemic, we did six classes right yeah, now. Yeah, we did the acrylic training class, mm -hmm. which was super helpful and a lot of you guys tuned in. So thank you for always supporting us and tuning in, mm -hmm. um, especially now during this time. I know, um, I don't know where you guys are at, but again, here in, in California, they closed down the nail salon. So I think it's more important now to take the time when you're at home to just practice and really um, hone on your your craft so that when you do go back you're prepared and um, there's already so many I think you know restrictions with sanitation so it'll be really hard for people to see as many clients as they used to mm -hmm. so the crafting your skill to kind of quicken um, each service is more important now mm -hmm. yeah yeah, and it's, it can achieve you guys. Seriously, this is why I love to share techniques. Whether you pay for my class or not, you know I give you guys everything I have. I love it because I feel like a lot of you, we all in the same boat. We all want to work and take care of family and have a better life. So, um, and with my experience, more than 15 years, I love to share that. And I hope you guys enjoy our YouTube channel because I do share a lot of techniques on shaping and all that. But... I definitely will work on more classes uh, schedule coming up. Give me maybe a few more weeks to work it on on it, and then I will let you guys know more. Uh, Gina asks, are you guys on Instagram Live now also or Facebook Live? So right now, we are on Facebook Live and Instagram, or sorry, YouTube Live. We're mm -hmm. not on Instagram Live yet. Mm -hmm. um, most likely, though, our main base would be for our lives is Facebook. So um, if you ever want to just check it out we are doing these live demos every tuesday and thursday so don't miss out we're always going to be here on tuesday thursday we're going to share with you guys new products that we're having we're going to do demos we're going to share tips as always because it's the nail tip show <laughs> so um we're always going to be here to uh just share with you guys um, and we hope that you guys learn something new every time mm -hmm. so that somewhere down so các bạn thấy đẹp không so another thing is it's not just about shaping, but you also want to check it, the width of the nail when you do coffin. So make sure it's all kind of proportion and balanced to each other. The middle finger is always slightly longer than the rest of the nails, and pinky slightly shorter, just in case. Okay, you guys. So and làm xong rồi nếu mà các bạn thích thì cho em trái tim nha, thả trái tim. But yeah, let me dust that off quickly. Then I love this part, and I can show you how I do with the nails. I love the reveal part. Okay, so I love, you want to put on the sticker, right, Gun? Yes, Give me the sticker. I would love the stickers. I think it's over here. Okay. I love this. No, I love, which one? I, is this one my favorite? Yeah, I'm that's gonna, the one you want okay. to okay, so you I'm going to use this one, and which one you want? Yeah, you guys, these are so cute. Look at these. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, there's literally one yellow one right here. Uh -huh. You guys can see that. One, and I want this one. Just one. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. Just one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so all the glitters that we are using today on the nails, um, the groovy look now, and also um, a little bit here in the butterfly, um, butterfly glitters, mm -hmm. those are available on our website. So if you guys are ever needing new butterfly glitters or you think, hey, maybe this is time for me to practice, um, it is available on our website right now, and it's on sale. So the butterfly glitters, um, all the sets, they're ten dollars today. Okay, so bây giờ em muốn dùng cái 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 này mới nè. This is fresh, fresh sticker. Oh my god, I don't want. It's so it's so sticky. Dainty. I didn't wanna break it. Break it. But look how beautiful. It's like three D, but it's not bulky. So, ooh, love it. I'm so in love with these. When I first saw this, I go, I have to have it. Yeah, because so, gold. It's gold. There you go. Oh there it God. is. You guys, I feel like you guys are going to be in love with this just as much as I am. It's so nice. Look at that. The, the, the decal is really nice. The detail is really great, but then you can see on the side view, it's not bulky, right? Oh, how can you go wrong? Okay, which one you want? Yes, okay. Yeah, so this one, I like it because it's like kind of transparent. Uh -huh. So 
it's like it has the clear mm -hmm. in it and so it, it pops out whatever color in the acrylic that you use under so mm -hmm. that's what i really like okay and which one you like this is the one this is the new <laughs> this is the new butterfly sticker so i don't um, know does it, do you think it will fit in that nail i don't know we're just gonna have to see is one is that kind of big yeah i don't think i could fit that one yet okay because I already, I accidentally, maybe next time I have to put it this one, get the big one. No, let's not use that one. Let's just, uh, how about something else? How about, how about this one? One makes mm -hmm. blue though. Mm -hmm. Which one you guys like? Anybody? Any opinion? Yeah, don't you guys like the gold one, guys? Oh my God, I feel like I'm obsessed with these. Ooh. Uh, we have so many. I feel like if you use a purple one, because you have purple on these okay. on these ones, Where? so the purple one. Either Ooh, this one is so nice. Too. Yeah, either that one or the other one. Oh, how about this to one? Kind of to bring that all in. Yeah, tie it all in, right? Yeah. Oh my God, it's so dainty, you guys. I didn't want to pull, just yank it off. You want to do it slowly. It's really sticky, though. It's very sticky. Okay. Which one? Last Let's time? try this one. Yeah, the last time. Ooh, what else? I see a little dust. So pretty, right there. I feel like, oh, it's so dainty that you just don't want to ruin it. There you go. Oh my gosh, guys, how beautiful! Yay! Looks there you so go. nice, right? Yes. Okay. See, it should see now. It ties in with the purple. There yeah. you go, guys. A color <laughs> palette. Yeah. Oh my god, how how cute that is, right, guys? See. As you can see, it's not bulky. I mean, it looks like 3D, but it's not like too raised. Um, I suggest you guys put the base and top, but I'm gonna just do the top right now so I don't waste your time. Let me just put the top on because I know Tiffany, she's not gonna wear this set for a long time, so. You guys, I get my nails done almost every Tuesday and Thursday now, so. It's always changing. Also, I have not mastered wearing these long nails. Mm -hmm. So this is just a behind the scene thing, but we do the lives and you guys get to see how beautiful the nails are, but I cannot go home with these nails. I, I can't do anything. Last time I poked my eye right before, right before we, we went home. So I cannot do it. I don't know how people do it. Like I feel like Cardi B, she has these long, beautiful nails, and I am just always in awe. I'm like, how does she wipe her butt? I'm like, you know, it's, it's the thing. <laughs> uh, anyway, so on oh YouTube, oh my god, look at this one, guys. Said, um, Anna said these nails are very beautiful. I love the colors. Darkness Woman said yes, use the purple. Thank you for affirming me. See, mm -hmm. purple is the way to go. Yeah. Katina said, oh my gosh, I love these stickers. I'm making a purchase tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. Elizabeth said I can't function without long nails. Oh, see, so she's the opposite. She figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> But I just want to show you, like, see, even with this design, you use the, the sticker and you just, with the side French, look how just, just so easy. And to make the design look so cute, like, you don't have to um, do a lot of design, but just simply and incorporating with some of the glitter and the sticker, look how beautiful that is. See, it doesn't have to be a lot of work, a lot of detail. But it's just how you guys put it together. You know, it's fun, right, Gun? I know. I, the green actually looks really great with the top coat. Okay. I was a little nervous to be too bright, but it's actually not. It's like a little bit medium. It it's on, not honey? neon. How is it on? Okay. So I'm just going to have her cure real quick with 60 seconds. Yes. Any questions so far? But oh my gosh, guys. These are going to be available very soon, so you guys need to keep an eye out on them. We have a lot more butterfly stickers on yeah. our website. I love these. Look so, how beautiful each of them. I love it so dainty. I know. It's like very like elegant. Mm -hmm. uh, elegant butterflies. Các bạn thích cái này không? Em mới bỏ lên mà em thấy mê quá. Tại vì cái đó nó gold mà cái gold này it's like I love this gold too. The, this color it's like a perfect gold. I yeah, feel like it. I agree. And then, cái nó, nó rất là sáng và nó rất là mỏng nha. 
đó đợi em I can't wait until Tiffany bỏ cái tay ra để cho các bạn thấy ha nhưng mà em cũng có nhiều cái mấy cái butterfly trên mạng á nếu mà các bạn muốn mua thì có thể để cái số phone cho em biết có gì em có thể gọi cho các bạn um, hoặc là các các bạn có thể go directly vô cái website thì uh, em cũng có nhiều cái mẫu trên website các bạn có thể coi ha Yeah. yeah, so if you ever need call, help um, making an order, you can call our number at 909-342-0078. And, you guys, we have these new hemp leaves stickers, too. So these will, go, these will be shortly available on our website, but mm -hmm. we're going to sell them as a set. So you can get literally every single color. Every single color. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me, before we go, I feel like I just feel like I have to have a little... Uh, rhinestone. Oh my gosh, you're obsessed. You're so obsessed with crystals. Are you guys just like me? Because I feel like you can never live without it. I feel like, oh my god. Do you guys want to see that? In, um, Katie? Yeah, come on, yeah. Tí có gì gọi, có gì chuyện lấy cái order của Katie, huh? Thank you so much. Delisa said, it's best to finish the stickers with a layer of base coat, then top coat? Question. Yeah, uh, because she's not going to wear too long, so I don't want to waste your time, put a base coat and top, but I find that when I work, uh, when I do this with a client, on a client, I put the base, put the other sticker you can want, then put the base, put on the base real quick, okay, because you don't want to take the time to do the base too, you want to put lightly like a thin coat of base, cure it, and then put a top coat, I guarantee you, your client can go for a month, it will peel it off. Really good, yeah. So, bây giờ em cho nó, uh, em muốn cho nó thêm một chút xíu nữa, and I'm gonna do a little rhinestone, if you guys don't mind. Uh, unless, if you guys wanna see this, I feel like I wanna tie all the look together with just a little bit of um, uh, crystal. Okay, because sẵn anh đây em có nhiều cái mẫu đẹp á, so I just wanna do this. Huh? Did you guys enjoy this so far? Anna said, greetings from Mexico. Oh, hello. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah. So I'm using, this is just a gem gel that we have on the website as well. I love about this gem gel is that once you're done with it, you don't have to wipe. And it's almost like, uh, think of it as like a thick uh, top coat because once you're done, uh, your, your, your crystal is all secure and then you just don't have to worry about it. So I have a various size here. I like to work with different shape and size. So I'm just gonna do that. I feel like ugh, you can never go wrong with just a little bling, right guys? Can never survive without little bling. I mean, you know, if you got anybody struggling with crystal, let me know too, because I, I can help you get out if you guys struggling with that. But I'm basically using a different size here, just to add a little touch on the look. Yeah, so we have this kit too. This is this is from our website. That one is... Yeah. Yeah, that one is um, this. This one. So it's the same one. So these, this was a lot. This is, we call this the beginner's, beginner's kit, but there's a lot of jewels on here. So the bigger gems on this, on this side, you guys, they have 20 piece each. And then on this side with the smaller gems, there's a thousand pieces. So that's just a beginner set. There's a lot in there. That's mm -hmm. on our website as well. And it's, it's on sale. Yep. Mm -hmm. So to tie the, this two together, I'm just gonna do that a little bit on the corner. But as you can see, just a little bit on the corner, of the nail, it just add a little sparkling to it. It gives you like a little more dimension on the nail, but I feel like this is another way you can upsell your service with all the crystal. And like I said, I love about this gel is like, because I already put the top coat, I don't have to go back and put on the non-white top coat. So this is really easy. Okay. So I'm just gonna continue to do the same. Just gonna add, I'm gonna tie all the look together with these. You don't like crystal, huh? Um, I'm like, eh, it I think it depends. I will, I will say though, this, this, um, this rhinestone gel, the the no wipe, it actually stays a really long time because, um, I'm gonna show you guys, but this was. 
the design we did like I think like almost two weeks ago. This the snail right here, the little tiny one, this little yeah, pinky head. Um, and we did this demo a long, like almost two weeks ago, and that that gem has been there, like it has not fallen off. So this uh, no non wipe gel really really works. Yeah, I, like I said, it, the reason I like it because you once you put it on, you don't have to go back and you know you, you have to go back with non wipe top coat. You, this is it. It's actually you done. You just let your client go, and that's it. But you do just cure it for about sixty seconds, and that's it. Yeah. But look how pretty that is. It's all it's tied. all about the glam, you guys. The okay. glam. Okay. I'm just gonna have her cure one more time for sixty seconds. That's it. That's all. <laughs> it is all. All, all the gems, all of the uh, butterflies, yeah. everything. Oh, I have so much fun sharing with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this live. Um, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to put it down. But always be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Facebook <laughs> and YouTube as well. Uh, cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi chương trình. Uh, các bạn cũng đừng quên theo The Nail Tip Show on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram luôn nhé. Uh, mỗi tuần thì em sẽ Uh, at least lên live hai lần nhưng mà nếu mà các bạn uh, thích hay là có thắc mắc gì về những cách làm nail hay là cách uh, đánh hột xoàn gì đó thì cứ đừng ngần ngại hỏi em nhé tại vì nói chung uh, em có bán đồ nhưng mà em cũng rất là muốn chia sẻ những cái technique cho các bạn thì nếu mà các bạn uh, struggle hay là các bạn có thắc mắc gì mà muốn nâng nâng thêm tay nghề để cho mình làm cho khách hàng càng ngày càng tốt hơn thì uh, mong các bạn mỗi tuần mà thứ ba và thứ năm tune in cái Facebook live hoặc là YouTube live nhé. So đó bây giờ em xong rồi đó. Yay, I'm done guys. This is the finish look. This actually looks really like easy, <cười> like it feels very like airy and light. I yeah. really like it. I'm just gonna apply the cuticle just so then it gives you a nice fresh skin and moisturize uh, the wax I can't I just got a wax stick I can't wait to use it oh good so yeah yeah you need the the wax stick to to pick up the crystal definitely it makes your job a lot easier but there you go guys so yeah they they enjoy các bạn thấy nha dài sắc cần để coi cái 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 hột xoàn với lại cái móng tay nha nếu mà các bạn miss rồi đó nếu mà các bạn tune in late thì các bạn có thể share cái 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 Facebook live này vô cái page của các bạn có gì uh, rảnh thì coi lại ha tại vì em nghĩ cái mẫu này em nghĩ các bạn sẽ cũng thích rất là thích yeah. I love it I oh. love so many so many butterflies so many crystals <cười> thank you Delisa thank you so much for supporting us Ok, cảm ơn các bạn rất nhiều và cũng đừng quên theo dõi uh, the Facebook Live với YouTube Live next week nhé. Uh, if not, maybe tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> Throw in an extra one. We'll see about that. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Good night or good uh, good morning wherever you're at. Bye, guys. Cảm ơn các bạn. <laughs>